stakeholders have been reacting to Nigerian sports industry policy recently presented to the Minister of Sport. One of the critical and most important stakeholders is the Nigerian Association for Physical and Health Education, Recreation, Sports and Dance, NAFA SD, that arose from its virtual meeting held on August 1, 2020, to review the draft on Nigerian sports industry policy presented to the public by the Honorable Minister of Youth and Sport Development, Sunday Diary, on July 28, 2020. After over an hour of extensive discussion and brainstorming, the association arrived at these following observations. The Honorable Minister was highly commended for the initiative and his passion about the policy, hence the preparation and presentation of the draft to the public. The meeting declared that the draft policy is bulky and not well structured, emphasizing that the vision and mission are devoid of expected statements that will show the focus of the policy. It is also observed that the true essence of sports in Nigeria was not properly defined and the main concept, which is sports industry, not explained, stressing that the vehicle that would drive the actualization of this policy, which is the National Sport Commission, was not mentioned. It further stated that the welfare of elite athletes, pension plan and what we serve as carrot to the private sector investor based on the nation's peculiarity were not identified. The association advised that assisting professionals in sport policy matters should do a total overhaul of this draft before it proceeds to the next stage and this cannot be achieved in a matter of days. Even though we are not involved in the drafting process, for us to look at, to look at the, the draft policy itself, because when the policy becomes a reality, it is no longer become a document for the ministry, but it's going to become a document for Nigerians. And it will be more or less like a movement. As a starting point, our own tool will also be lifted, will also be looked at by other countries. And it will be more or less like a mockery for us if we present the policy, draft policy as it is. And that is why we took them to examine the policy from the beginning to the end. And we observed that as it is in its current state, the policy lacks vision, it lacks mission. In fact, the mission of the policy is blind. The mission has no direction. Two, the rationale for the policy is not clearly stated. The policy is loaded with a lot of uncertainties. The definition of sports in the policy itself is not correct. The concept of sports industry is equally hidden inside the draft policy. By that, the channel of implementation and operation is still hanging. And that's about the uh, establishment of the National Sports Commission. Very, very germane to what is on ground. We realize that, and we also want to put it along with explanation on our observations on this current policy. Uh, we uh, see the policy, the draft, that uh, though it's cumbersome the way it is, people are not too comfortable with it. But it's appreciated that the ministry is, in thinking, is thinking in that direction and has taken a step by collating documents for people to look at. So we are using this opportunity to see NAFA SD as a partner in progress a necessary association for the Ministry of Youth and Sports Development at all times. So with what is on ground and what is at hand, we strive hard to ensure that uh, we uh, meet with the Minister to really express what we have observed easily uh, to the Minister. So that's, that's, that's the direction of our thinking. The association, however, appealed to the Honorable Minister to entrust this stage of the review to NAFA SD and give it time to come out with a concise policy that will be a model for other countries. In Lagos, Ken Delamidi, NTA News.